what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to learn how you can create really nice gradient in your ui kit application fully programmatically so here we've created this gradient so it's nice blue to this red uh, we've also applied it to the background of a button here so not only are we going to take a look at creating gradients but we'll take a look at multicolor gradients as well as a practical example of how you can apply them to reusable components, uh, in our case, of course, a button. So if that all sounds good to you guys, get started by destroying the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps out quite a bit. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Join for iOS and Swift videos by hitting subscribe. Get Xcode ready, get pumped. Let's talk about some really nice looking gradients. All right, we're gonna begin by opening up Xcode and creating a new project here. We're gonna stick with the app template under iOS and I'm just gonna go ahead and call our project here Gradients. You wanna make sure your language is Swift and your lifecycle is UI Kit. Go ahead and continue, save it wherever you'd like. First things first, we are going to expand our Xcode window. I'm gonna close this right panel, hit run at the top left here and we're gonna jump into our view controller like so. And once our project has finished building, we should see it uh, pop up in our simulator, just like that. So cool, let's get into some gradients. Now, creating a gradient with UIKit is actually super simple. Uh, there is something built into layers uh, called a CA layer gradient. So I'm gonna say uh, gradient layer right here, view to load is a CA, and if you just start start typing gradient, you'll see there is a CA gradient layer just like that. Now for this gradient layer, we need to make sure we assign it a frame and I'm gonna make it the same frame as the views bounds. And if we actually click into this gradient layer, we can supply a array of CG colors to it. You can see there is a colors property on it directly. So what we can actually come here and do is say gradient layer dot colors is a array of CG colors. So I'm just gonna say UI color, let's say system pink dot CG color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it a few times here. Now what's cool is you don't have to only have two. Uh, let, let's start off with two and then let's see how we can add multiple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And of course, before we run this, you wanna make sure uh, you add this as a sub layer to your view. So you're gonna do that just like that. Go ahead and hit Command R to build and run your app. And here you will see this pink to orange gradient, probably not the best colors uh, to choose. Let's go with a blue color so it's a little more obvious from pink to blue. So there is our gradient. Now, what I was getting at earlier was you can actually add as many colors to this array as you want. Just make sure they are core graphic colors. So here we had blue. So I'm gonna update this to be system blue. Then we're gonna go to green. Then we're gonna go to, let's say perhaps yellow. And finally, we're gonna end out uh, with, let's go with purple. So go ahead and give that a run. We'll have a pretty elaborate gradient here. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend this in your actual app, but hopefully you guys get the points. Now, this is cool and all, we added a gradient to our uh, actual view. But let's do a little bit of a more real world example. So let's say we wanted to create a gradient styled button. So I'm gonna take all this code, we're gonna get rid of it, and we are going to create a new file here. We're gonna stick with a Cocoa Touch class and we are going to subclass a UI button. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it a gradient button. Go ahead and create it and save it. And it'll create this class here for you. We're gonna delete all this commented out code. And essentially what we wanna do in here is override the initializer, which takes a frame, calls super in it with that same frame. You're also going to want to bring in the required initializer, otherwise you'll get a compile error. And what we can actually do here is we can just basically add a layer gradient. So here I could go ahead and say, uh, let's gradient equals a CA gradient layer. And exactly what we did before, we're gonna say layer add sublayer, which is gradient. 
gradient dot frame is going to be bounds. Uh, the current bounds of the button, so bounds just like that. And we're going to say gradient dot colors will be an array of colors. Let's just go with two colors for the sake of it looking like a normal button. We're going to go with system purple, CG color, and let's go with, let's say orange. We'll go with system orange dot CG color. And now we can reuse this uh, gradient button anywhere in our app. So we're gonna go to our view controller and in view to load, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a button here. We're gonna give it a pretty nice sized frame here of let's say uh, 00, 220 and 50. I'm gonna go ahead and add it as a sub view here. We're also gonna center it to our view. And let's see, let's go ahead and give it a title. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, set title, gradient button, just like that for the normal states. And while we're at it, might as well give it a nice little corner radius of eight points, just like that. Go ahead and give it a run and you will now see a gradient button here. So. If you ever see these gradient buttons, I know Instagram loves to do these gradient buttons. Uh, they're super simple. They're literally layers that are built into the uh, SDK. They're not hard to do. And actually what I would actually do here is you could go a step further. And uh, what you could do is you could add a custom initializer here to this button. Let's say uh, init. And let's see, you can take in colors here, which is an array of, let's say, CG colors. And you can actually initialize this. You can say super dot uh, init with frame of, let's say, zero. And instead of hard coding the colors here to your own array, you can use the ones in the initializer. Let's get rid of my antivirus pop up friend. And now you can actually, in fact, pass in uh, the colors you want to use directly. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, uh, actually what you can also do here is let me go ahead and make this gradient layer a global, where I'll override uh, layout sub views. That's not what we want. We want layout sub views. We'll say super layout sub views. And in here I'm gonna say gradient dot frame uh, equals bounds. And then now what we can do back in our view controller is instead of creating it with a frame like this, uh, we are still going to want a frame, so I'm going to cut this guy right here. We are going to say button dot uh, frame is that CG rec we just copied. And now here I can go ahead and say we want to create this with colors. And let's say we want to do UI color dot system blue. And let's say UI color dot system red dot CG color. Make sure this one is CG color as well. Go ahead and give that a run. And essentially what we've now done is we've created a gradient button that is capable of taking in, you know, the colors that we want the gradient to have. So uh, it's an array, it's pretty simple, very little amount of code here, but you get a pretty cool effect. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Make sure you hit that like button if you found this video helpful. If you have any comments, definitely leave it down below. I love hearing from you guys video suggestions, feedback, just comment and say hi for the YouTube algorithm. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe so you too can join along in our daily iOS and Swift videos. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.